Hi guys. Uh, I know it's been a while since I put up a video. Um, I haven't, I haven't gotten a whole lot to share. I've gotten personal things, um, and I've got sick again. Um, it's been quite a battle still. Um, I know I've been posting, um, a little bit and, and answering comments and stuff. And I, I appreciate your interaction. And, um, I've had a dream, um, probably like a week ago that I'm still waiting on the interpretation for. And normally I get interpretations right away, but this one, um, this one I'm still praying about. So when I get the okay to share, then I will. Um, but I'm still trying to figure out the relevancy of it. Um, and I know that doesn't help you at all, but, um, anyways, so I did, I, I, I got a very, uh, I, I wasn't, normally when I, when I get prophecies, I have like a feeling that that's going to happen soon. This one just came on, um, like it was very fast and I keep up shower crayon like a bathroom like the kids draw in the bathtub I keep that in the shower just in case and it happened while I was taking a shower um on TMI but that's when it happened um it, I just heard the first line and so I'm like well can I finish my shower because I was right in the middle of it and I've been waiting a while for another one um I think the last one was two weeks ago um, and I've been praying, praying about it, and, um, I know everybody's kind of anxious, we're still waiting, um, but anyways, so, I wanted to, I've been asking the Lord, what, what do we do next, what's, what's, what's around the corner, what do you want us to do, um, and, so I do pray for you guys, and and I pray for your peace, um, because we know that with all of the stuff going on right now, our mind should not be on the what ifs, and our mind should not be on the um, even though everything seems quite negative, the world is quite negative, but we need to stay positive in spirit and um, lean on the truth that we have. Um, in the Lord and what he has said and what he's already said. If he's already said it, it's going to happen. So uh, we just need to realize, realize how blessed we are to be born when we have and the generation we have because out of anybody in the entire history, since Jesus died on the cross, we are the chosen generation to see the coming of the Lord and um the signs are coming every day guys it's I, I'm I'm just very excited so anyways back to the prophecy um I got it written down and then I, I will um I do have a a, a link that I'm going to share on I think if I can get it I don't know how to do it but I'll figure it out the description or the um the, um, what do you call it? The comment box, the comments, I will put it at the top, but, um, it's from, uh, somebody who, I don't know if he's subscribed or not, but he comments a lot and he shared, um, a, oh my goodness, I'm losing my words. He shared, um, a recipe for getting over the COVID and it, Honestly, it helped me a lot. Um, and then when I lost my smell and taste at the end, after I was all better, um, I used essential oils and it brought, brought it back within two days. So I will put that down there too. Um, I know a lot of um, brothers and sisters are being attacked right now um, physically. And I know that a lot of us are being attacked um, 
with our vehicles and um, a lot of other stuff right now. So stay strong because you're not the only one um, who is, is going through stuff. And remember that our battle is not against flesh and blood um, and that you should rejoice in your, how does it go? Rejoice in your suffering um, because suffering, oh man, suffering brings perseverance and perseverance, hope, or something like that. Um, it's in Corinthians, I think. I don't remember. Look it up. Anyways, so this prophecy is for um, the people who love the Lord and are um, living for him and are excited to see his face. Um, so this is specifically for you. Um, okay, so it was yesterday at 9.30 at night. And it's called, My Judgment is Coming. Hear me, my people. Those that I have called out of the grave have remembered me and have heeded my warnings. My patience has now ended. The door closes and my mercy comes to an end. My dear children, hold on. My grace is sufficient for you. My burden is light and my yoke is easy. Cast your cares upon me. Soon we will see face to face. To face. Do not fear my children when trouble and strife come. For you already know, you already knew it would happen. Rejoice in my name. Rejoice in the glory of who I am. The Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. Let nothing come between you and your brothers and sisters. Let nothing. Times of trouble come, many will die. Listen to me. When you follow my commandment, love me with all your heart and your soul and all your strength. I will be found by you. Remember, I will never leave you or forsake you. My promises are timeless. They go on forever. Find rest and shelter in me and I will hold you in the palm of my hand. I will comfort you when you weep and rejoice with you when you rejoice. Stay steadfast in me, my abundancy. My grace overflows for you. My love is everlasting. If you call me, your most high, and rest under my wings, no one can touch you. You will be mighty in spirit. Did I not say, do not touch my anointed? You, my chosen people, will be called out and taken home, prepared and made ready for battle. Hear it. Hear the cry. Hear the battle cry. The war is soon to come. The Armageddon war is he was talking about. But the battle is on. Choose to fight. Choose to get on your knees and pray. Pray like you've never prayed before. Pray for my little ones who are being slain and sacrificed to the God, to the gods. And then he said, read Isaiah 57, the whole chapter. Pray for your fellow believers who give their lives for me, who are persecuted in my name. Pray for the leaders. Pray for Russia. Pray my will be done. I am angry. I am vengeful. My wrath will soon come. Pray you are ready. My judgment comes. That's the end. Um, I had my husband read this. He wanted to know what um, I was doing. And he said, is God a vengeful God? And I said, I, I looked up vengeful in Wikipedia. So if you have, look up vengeful and, and see what it says. I can't pull it up on my phone because I'm using it. Um, but look up vengeful. It To me, it's the same as judgments. Just like Sodom and Gomorrah. Just like the entire earth, which was... I mean, a lot of people, other than eight people, on the boat. Um, so don't think he's going to not do it again, because it's already written, and he said it multiple times. We've heard the warnings. The warnings, I mean, everything that is on my YouTube feed is warning after warning after warning, and so many people are not heeding those warnings, and it's sad. And I know I've said this multiple times, but God is is God said there's nothing new under the sun. And there isn't. 
anything new under the sun to him because it's already been done. If you if you see the patterns in the Bible, God is the same God from Genesis through Revelation, and he will not change. And that is so... It can make you just breathe a sigh of relief because we can count on him that much. Um, so... Is there anything else I need to say? Hmm. I'm wondering. Yeah, I was, I was, I'm sorry. I was, um, trying to see if I should share this, but I, I think I need to hold off on that. Um, so anyways, I hope, uh, I, I am, I've got, if you, if you need people to pray for, there are many people, um, who post underneath some of the videos of prayer, um, situations they need prayer for, and, um, yeah, right now I'm not sick. <laughs> COVID has done some weird stuff. Um, we all have allergies now in the middle of winter. It's negative four degrees here. Um, and it's not really warming up at all. So I have two heaters in my horse's water trough because that's how quickly the water has frozen over. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I think that's all. So let me know how you guys are doing. Um, I haven't talked to you in a while. I would like an update. And um, yeah, hope you have a good day.